was hunted. I was truly this guy's prey. A Temple Terrace woman is lucky to be alive after being attacked by an alligator in her backyard. She suffered serious injuries. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins us live from the Hillsborough River with her story of survival. Jeff. Good evening, Keith. Compared to when I first moved to this area more than 35 years ago, there are now a lot more alligators in the Hillsborough River. And just upriver from where we are standing right now, a woman was attacked in her backyard when she went for a quick swim. Rochelle Thompson is getting around her backyard now with crutches, which is a vast slowdown from her normal active lifestyle. In her backyard is the Hillsborough River, which is her little slice of paradise and has been her place to escape. In 2018, when I moved out here and I started taking uh, short swims. Even with those short swims, she is very aware there are alligators in the dark waters. Um, I think I just saw one. This year, she says, the gators have been much more noticeable. This many season came and went, and I saw a lot more gator traffic, and I saw a lot more alligator activity. Still, on July 4th, she decided to go for a quick swim after a run. She checked the water and didn't see any movement and didn't see any bubbles from an alligator, so she went in. As soon as I saw his, his head appear in the dark water, from nowhere, it was next to my leg. The gator grabbed her leg and she fought, hitting it in the nose. Because it, most people that end up in that situation minimally lose a, a limb. Somehow she escaped and managed to pull herself up onto the dock. A friend took her to the hospital where they performed emergency surgery, saving her leg and finally in recovery welcome words from the doctor expect full recovery a licensed trapper did pull an alligator out of the hillsborough river after that attack that alligator weighed in at a whopping 465 pounds 11 feet four inches can you believe that wow what a story jeff but they're sure they got the right alligator well, she had nicknamed this alligator Scar because it had a scar across its snout that she says it got from a female alligator that also hangs out near her home. And she says that is the alligator they pulled out. So she's pretty confident they got the right one. Wow. Jeff Patterson reporting live for us in Hillsborough County. Thank you, Jeff.